All right, so this weekend I took the bear to Chicago and I went to one of my favorite places in the whole world, Atlas Stationers, and I got a nice little haul. So this is from Shumi, this is for my birthday. And I got a Conklin 125th anniversary Nozak Classic Limited. So you can notice here on the box that it is signed by one Dante. Yes, that Dante, Dante Del Vecchio, currently of Paniter, formerly of Visconti. Um, he apparently had done a collaboration for the 125th anniversary with uh, Conklin, so that's what I'm going to show you here. So comes in that wonderful box, which uh, they autographed, and then you can see here uh, the actual pen box. It's in a nice crescent because Conklin is known for the crescent filler system. The box is wood with uh, metallic paint on it. It feels very high quality. And as you can see there, it's got some element of uh, magnetic clasp to keep it closed. So I got the red edition and there's only 120 pieces per color made. Um, and mine happens to be, I don't know if you're gonna be able to make this out, but it is the um, serial number one of 125. So there's a few things about this pen that are interesting. So one, the clasp, or the clip is uh, nice. It's got that same crescent shape. Two, as with a lot of things by uh, Dante Del Vecchio, it's got a magnetic cap that closes and aligns. You can see it did that slight bit of rotation there when I put it on. It's got a 14 karat gold nib, and I got the Omniflex edition. So this is one of the uh, only Omniflex uh, 14 karat gold nibs that they make for this pen. And then it has something called the fast filler mechanism, which is essentially like a piston filler. So if you look inside, there's some glass that you can see here, and the piston uh, basically sucks up the uh, ink here. But the interesting thing about it is, I don't know if I can really show this to you, but essentially the piston goes, I guess if I align this 120 here, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. And then I do exactly one full turn, uh, it draws up all the possible ink. So that's just a nice little piece of uh, over-engineering that they did. So the material for this is uh, aluminum anodized, and for the red one, it's got a PVD plating. So um, these facets here are each 10-sided, and then as we talked about before, it's got the twist magnetic lock. So it holds a giant, just a huge amount of ink, a one full milliliter of ink. The only thing is I, I want to do a writing sample, but since this is signed by the maestro, maestro himself, I don't know that I necessarily want to touch it. I almost want to just take it to a safety deposit box and leave it there. I got a deep discount on this as well as the autograph for it. So um, I may be thinking about selling it, but it also does have some sentimental value because it was the first time that the bear uh, went to my favorite pen store. Maybe I'll keep it for the next 20 years and it'll be her present when she gets accepted to college, which will not be in 20 years. It'll be hopefully in much less than that.